Let's be honest with each other here. We need to stop giving an F about what other people think. Because you are getting held back by people that don't even care about you, by people that barely know you, that don't know you at all. But the real question in today's video is, how do we do this? Is human nature to, to want validation? Is human nature to want acceptance? It's human nature to, to care and to give an F about what other, what other people think. So how do we move from this fear? How do we move from this fear to the confidence of not giving an F of what people think of us? In this video, we're going to be exploring that question from three key perspectives. And as per usual, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to tune in. This is Goals and Growth. Let's get the ball rolling. The first perspective or the first strategy that I would like to talk about is the fact that you need to realign your thoughts with your goals. You've set all these goals for yourself. You've told yourself, listen, over five years, over 10 years, I want to be financially independent. I want to have my own online business. I want to have my own cafe, my own coffee shop, whatever it is. You have this goal in mind. Yet you have these people telling you that that's not going to work. That's a stupid idea. Oh no, bro. I support you completely. And then they end up stabbing you in the back. And those are the ones who end up laughing the hardest when you fail. The fact of the matter is, is that you're allowing these people's opinions to influence you and because you experience this negative influence from them that's going to affect your productivity it's going to affect your discipline it's going to affect your consistency and most of all it's going to affect your mood it's going to make you feel inferior it's going to make you feel like a failure even before you started so the key here is to realign your thoughts with your goals just know that you've set this target you've set this target for yourself you set this target not to impress other people, but to impress yourself and to give a better life for yourself and those closest to you who truly do support you. Because there are people in your corner, don't get it twisted. Not everyone's against you. You need to be working for not only yourself. You need to be working for the people who truly are there for you. You know who they are. I can't tell you, nobody can tell you. You know who they are. But the fact of the matter is, is that if you don't realign your thoughts, if you don't realign your mood and your actions with your goals, you're always going to get distracted by the negative opinion of others and you're always going to give an F of what people think about you. But by realigning and by refocusing on your goals, it's much easier to stay focused on them. It's much easier to avoid that distraction and to not give an F about what people think. You will notice a difference in your levels of motivation. You will notice a difference in your focus and that is the power of realigning your mind with your goals let's talk about perspective number two let's talk about the fact that no matter what you try to do no matter how perfect you try to be you're going to make mistakes and there's always going to be that one person who's waiting for you to make a mistake always it doesn't matter if you graft every single day it doesn't matter how perfectly you try to do things how disciplined you are how consistent you are people are waiting for you to flop there's always going to be the one person who has a criticism there's always going to be the one person who's always going to have something negative to say about you so my question to you is why do you waste your energy on them there's one person who has one opinion and you're allowing them to dictate the course of your life ah shit that's not how it works. Listen, I was also there. I was also very scared and insecure about shooting these videos, about making workout vlogs, because I, I always thought to myself, oh, these people must think I'm an idiot. These people must think, oh, what is this guy doing with the camera, talking to himself, you know? But then you just start to realize that why do I even care? Stop it. Get some help. They're not living in my shoes. They're not living my life. So why do I allow them? to dictate the course of it. My point that I'm trying to make here is that there's always going to be someone, irrespective of how good you think you may be, how kind of hard you think you may be, there's always going to be someone who has something negative to say. My point is, just ignore them. They're always going to be there. You're never going to get rid of them. Ignore them. You do you. I must end this video on this note. I want you to imagine you're 70, 80 years old, 
You're sitting on the porch, you're thinking to yourself, hmm, what have I achieved in life? Have I done enough? Am I proud of myself? Could I have done more? And if the answer is could I have done more, well, you pretty much screwed up. If you sit there, there's always, listen, there's always going to be something that we that we didn't get to. So you can't do everything that you plan throughout life. But have I done the fundamentals? Am I proud of what I've done on a fundamental basis during the course of my life? Am I proud of the interactions I've had with people? Am I proud of the way I carry myself? Am I proud of the discipline and consistency that I showed in working towards my goals? Have I achieved those goals? Or why did I fall short? Project yourself into the future. Project yourself as the older version. Think back to your past self and think to yourself, could I have done better? Or am I proud of myself? So that's why you should not give an effort but what people think. Make your future self proud right now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, you found some value in it, I'd like to encourage you to smash that subscribe button, smash the like button, leave a comment, give me your thoughts on this topic, and I'll see you next time.